Well, it says live, and I also have the maybe I am. Like whatever day you want it to be, because none of it matters right now. But um, funny things I was looking at. Um, so we have the draft that started yesterday, and uh, this is probably one of the biggest non-sporting sporting events that I can think of each year. Um, in other words, there's no, nothing to really spectate. No one's out there doing anything. You can watch some film. I, I personally find the draft very boring after the first three picks and then wherever the Browns pick, which is usually in the first three picks because they suck. But um, with that said, I was looking at some other things and I go, man, we did the draft virtually from home. And uh, so do we really need to go to New York every year and, and have all this uh, – this fanfare around it. I don't know. I don't know if it'll return, but what it's doing is it's causing a lot of ripple effects. And I was talking to a client yesterday because the, they've so recently sold two properties. They are very cash heavy right now. They don't want to get in the stock market and they're, um, they understand um, their traditional, traditional uh, finance, financial planning is a little bit different right now. And it's not always in your best favor to, um, to go the traditional route. There's other things to do. But anyway, we were talking about um, hard money. There's no hard money out there. So if you're, if you are in the wholesale market, or if you're in the flipper market, you know that there's not a, hi Dina, there's not a whole lot of um, hard money out there to work with. So that is creating some things like uh, private money and private money uh, can get into the hard money world. And uh, so these people could, that I was talking to yesterday, could become private money lenders and uh, work that way. So there's a lot of real estate opportunities that are going to happen. There's also some really detrimental things that could happen in the um, in the markets with FHA lending and things of that nature. I read uh, this morning, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are in a little bit of financial trouble. Uh, that will continue to increase the longer this goes on. But beyond the the initial things, I just think about what's going to occur long term. And so banking is going to change tremendously. I talked about that uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but a few things I wrote down, newspapers and article delivery. Um, I traditionally get the post here in my town and it's all been it's all gone online now. Uh, the Cleveland Plain Dealer, I think, is just about ready to go belly up. Um, and they won't. I know when they went from the seven day to the four day delivery. Now, I think uh, I think the time has come that we're not going to see a whole lot of print um, news. We will see some, I'm sure, but not to the level that we were even three years ago. Um, taxes right now, tax revenues are, are across the board really low. And this is one of the gas things we talked about with gas being in a negative um, position under less than free. <laughs> so um, we look at that from the perspective, I was talking to a contractor last night, he does a lot of paving and he has a lot of city and, and county and even state contracts. And he talked about the amount of money that uh, the gas tax provides for contractors like him is tremendous. And right now we are seeing less and less of, of that being utilized. Now, of course, we probably are seeing a higher um, uh, trucking industry uh, tax, but because gas prices are so low uh, and the gas consumption is so low that the tax revenue is also low. So we'll see how that plays out with our future um, contractors along those lines. But entertainment, banking, advertisement, churches are being done online. I'm always just curious what other people think about that. Are people going to go back to church uh, in the actual in the actual church, the, the house of the church, whatever their denomination might be? I think, of course, they will. But I also wonder about the people who have found it to be very convenient to worship in their, you know, in their own home or wherever it is they do that. But brick and mortar shopping, I was reading about Macy's and Kohl's in particular. They are taking a beating right now. And I think this is the final nail in the coffee coffin for a lot of the brick and mortar shopping. We've already seen over the past decade how much more we went from Black Friday being a tremendous seller to um, what is Monday, um, whatever, mon um, whatever Monday is called the, with the Internet um, sales. Um, and, and what that's telling me is um, now because we have all these shuttered stores uh, for at least a month here in my area and, and looking like two to three weeks longer of any retail stores being opened that's plain retail, uh, I, I see huge things changing. Two last things that I want to talk about that are monster changes. And I was just curious if you guys have noticed but in your mail delivery, are you getting less mail, less junk mail? Because I am. And uh, I, I, those are positives in my book. And I hope that continues. But then here's the other really big one. We're in an election year, presidential election year, uh, primary election, national. 
and I'm not seeing any political ads except for those that we see on Facebook or uh, Instagram or any of those platforms, but on the regular television, I've seen almost no political ads, which is just so thankful. I'm so thankful for, but uh, on the flip side of that, we see a lot more platforms opening up. Zoom uh, has has become really a lifesaver. But at the same time, this morning, I think it was Facebook announced that they would set up rooms for 50. They're, it's kind of like the extension of their watch party, but they're going to have these 50. Uh, the difference is the, it's going to be a 50 person room that you can have similar to what Zoom does. I think I pay for the 200 person room that I can do up to 200 people webinars. And but you're going to actually, instead of just having the capability that we do now to connect with people uh, on Facebook in the watch parties, but instead the camera will be on like everybody will be similar to what we see on Zoom with the live feeds and people will have that cross uh, communication. We're seeing gyms go to that platform. Uh, a lot of home workouts, I work out at Orange Theory, they do several workouts a day, just like uh, they did at the gym. Obviously it's a little bit different because we don't have the studio there, but uh, as things go back to normal, it's gonna be a lot new normal. And I'm just curious, what um, other people see in their business right now that they think is going to carry forward. Um, of course, you know, all of our local, all of our local businesses are doing what they can to kind of compete and survive. And this atmosphere and collaboration is really big. I saw this morning for you guys who are local, uh, I ran into uh, a blue heron and he was at uh, circles on the square donuts and they're going to partner to provide a dinner and a dessert from two different companies. And I look at that and I go, yeah, that's kind of neat. And it's a little bit unusual, but I think it's going to become the more, the more usual because now it's a cross pollination, it's networking. It's all these different things that, um, that we do. We talk about, um, from the networking and business perspective. And then that brings me to the other thing is B and I's or whatever you am spirit. I was in am spirit for a while. Um, I, I I'm not a big B and I person. I just don't like the platform. I don't like the, um, I never really enjoyed the, the exact way it rolled out, but uh, now there's a big capability and opportunity for the the online BNIs and for the weekly meetups to be virtual as opposed to driving. I was in one, I would drive 25 minutes to get there, sit there and then leave another 25 minutes. And it, it became, there was not a very good return on investment. So now I look at the, the platforms that we're using with um, all these different things, Zoom or Facebook, or whatever it is you want to use and just different opportunities to connect. So just curious what your thoughts are. If you have something in your business that's different uh, in my business, real estate, we're doing a lot more virtual walkthroughs. The 3D Matterport is becoming uh, highly important for those of us who utilize it. Um, it's a it's another delivery system. I've seen a lot of realtors do virtual open houses. Um, it's It's just advancing things the way we've been doing them. We, we, I think we would have advanced this way in the next five years anyway, but it just really put the foot on the gas to uh, speed those things up. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoy your Friday. I'm going to go get some pizza from Courthouse Pizza, uh, the take and bake and go home and make some pizza with the kids. So you guys have a great day.